Hey guys, what's up? This is uh, T1G Lucky, leader of T1G Nation out of channel 1313, 30 guild strong. <clears throat> Wanted to do a video on Smokey. Is Smokey good? Is Smokey worth the HOH? Is he worth all the time and energy spent farming this um, Hall of Heroes? And the answer is, personally, in my opinion, yes he is. He is an excellent monster. A few ways to ruin him. Obviously... <clears throat> violent is one of them. You're going to need that Violent set, especially on Necro. Um, in the offset, typically you would use Revenge. He is a Necro monster. He is a Raid monster. Um, not too particularly keen for PvP. Uh, I'm sure people can find ways to use him if you have a, um, a Synced Energy, or excuse me, Synced Time Team, but typically main focus is Raid and Necro. And what's really good about monsters <clears throat> that are you're able to use a necro you're also able to use in raid so you want to have that interchange being able to kind of use him in more than one spot than just wasting a six star if that makes any sense um, <clears throat> again as I said really only one particular way to ruin him is violent revenge if you don't have uh, violent then all revenge will work well <clears throat> um, if you're using him for both necro and raid you really don't have to worry about slot 2 being speed but I do suggest that you get <clears throat> Excuse me, you do get some speed subs. Um, I've got him at 165. He was about 180. I've got now leftover runes on him because he works perfectly with the, with the leftover runes that he's got on him now for Necro and Raid. Use him in R5. Um, <clears throat> he is squishy on the stats. He's got really low HP. He's got you know not too bad defense. And his speed is 101. It's about average on most of the monsters here in the game. Um, I went HP, HP, defense. Reason being I went that is to give him a little bit of sustenance. I'm not really too overly concerned about his speed because I use him in Necro as well as Raids. <clears throat> Originally I had him, I think, at about close to 200 speed on HP, HP, defense, but I switched out some of those runes to give to my PvP monsters that had the best speed subs on them. So... But as I said, I, I've been testing him and using him for, I don't know, six or seven months, and I just, he works well. Even with these stats here, he works well in both both aspects of the game, Necro and again Raid. Uh, I'm going to show you, <clears throat> I'm going to show you why he's so good. <clears throat> he has the chance to decrease in a target's attack speed. That is vital in both Necro and Raid. You need that to become successful in doing both those parts of the games. Um, with a 30% chance, obviously it goes up. I have not fully um, skilled him out. I'm using my double mons, and I haven't actually summoned any more. It's one of the hardest monsters for me to summon that in the Jokers. Uh, after he's fully skilled up, it's 30 40, 50% chance to slow. That is gold. You need that in both Necro and Raid. Second skill, <clears throat> oh, and obviously first skill is a multi-hit, which is gold in, in, in Necro. Um, second skill, he hits in a target four times, and he has the chance to decrease your, uh, give you glancing, and... Calls upon the Wandering Souls to attack target four times. Each hit has a 30% chance to increase the target's chance of dealing a glancing hit for two turns. Yes, you want that raid monster <clears throat> to have as many debuffs as possible. You also want the Necro monster to have many debuffs as possible. Um, and he also, with for Necro, he hits four times, so that is something very vital. A multi-hit monster in one or two or even three skills is what you're tar typically leaning for for Necro. Um, his last skill attacks all enemies two times, with each attack having a 50% chance to decrease the target attack power and disturb HP. Also gold for Necro, and as well as platinum for raid. You need that block, it, block HP, you need that attack debuff, so he not only does he glance, he also um, breaks your attack. So he basically does everything in one. Really good monster. Don't listen to the lower channel saying, oh he's garbage, he's not worth it. I've put this monster to use with sub subpar runes, I've also made him sh shine with superior runes. But, coming to find out with subpar runes, he is shining very well, he does everything I need him to do, handles Necro well, handles 
raids extremely well. Brings that slow, especially if one of the opponents, one of your, your counterparts doesn't bring Howie or Hua, excuse me, or doesn't have that slow debuff. He has his own first skill, whether he uses his attack or he revenges or counters. <clears throat> so, I'm sorry to say, to shut all, down, shut all the haters down, this monster is awesome. Do not listen to the players in the lower channel saying that he sucks, food for chilling. No, he is an exceptionally well used monster for two very important components of this game. Raid 2 to 5 and of course Necro. <clears throat> so, his leader skill also you can use for Necro is to increase the HP of allies in dungeons. Um, unfortunately, a lot of four stars are very, had very linear leads, but hey, it doesn't matter. You can use his lead in Necro if you're taking a save team, or if you want to, if you have an all-out nuke Hua and you need to have a little bit more HP, she, this guy will give it to you. So, all right, well that's my review on um, Smokey. I don't care what anybody says; he's a great monster. I, as soon as I got him, I was excited to six star after reading his skills, and I just tested him and tested him, and it's just awesome monster. I give him probably an eight out of ten. Not the best one, sort of say, for Necro, or excuse me, not the best one, sort of say, of the of the Jack o' Lanterns. I mean, Chilling is also very good. He's very, very, very good in D10, uh, but he definitely gives Chilling a run for his money. Different aspects of him, used differently in parts of the game, but again, I cannot stress enough. Smokey is definitely worth the time. All right, gonna show you running Necro. Also gonna show you running raids, and show you how he how he does. Here we go. We're gonna show him here in Necro. Um, I run on B10 at about, <clears throat> I don't know, anywhere from maybe 208 to 330, depends on how many times my monster's crit or, or um, excuse me, my monster's revenge or proc. <coughs> but his debuffs is golden. Tip, what's crazy is this is a dark monster. A lot of the multi-hit and most useful monsters here for Necro are fire. A lot of people also use... Fucko and some other wind monsters. If you got, if you're one of the lucky, well, I wouldn't even say lucky because so many people have Sierra, but Sierra is also used well here too. <coughs> but he complements the fire team well. He's got that exceptionally, exceptionally sought after dungeon um, skill lead, 33 percent hit points. I don't use him here. I need my monsters to crit to make it a faster run. Um, I'm pretty satisfied with my runs. I was thinking about making Roka 6 star for the life of me. I can't get him. I would probably switch over to Hua Lee and use Roka instead of Theo for the chainsaw and the multi-hit, obviously. <clears throat> but I've been using Necro since I started building a team around him. I don't have your average typical team. Um, I do have some single-hit monsters in there, but I use them because they have a very high DPS. And it gets the job done. Another thing that I'm lacking on is my team timing. Uh, I haven't really focused on timing and syncing my team for Necro because a lot of these monsters, such as you know my two main DPS ones, Monkey Man Wang and uh, Theo, I use them in PvP, so I'm not going to mess their timing up for this. But it's still, like I said, it completes the dungeon at 100% for me. Uh, I think my best time is 2-8 with this team. <clears throat> Look at those debuffs. Slow. Glance. Hua never uses that passive. Ever. It never activates. And we just... Him alone brought down the barrier. He can tank out any hit from Monkey Man. <clears throat> no revenge. Four of these four of the five monsters are on revenge, and it's just whenever the the boss attacks them, they never counter. But when they're stolen, they counter like crazy. And this slow right here allowed me to get a few extra hits and excuse me, a few extra turns on my monster. So slow is golden here. And there it is. That's a decent run. I think it was under three minutes. Two forty-two. As I said, my best is two eight. And this is the team I use for N ten every day. 
Um, I don't use Adrian. I don't use anybody else. Um, I don't use Ran or whatever. This is the team that I have found that works the best for me. So I don't have to spend any time focusing on a Necro team when I can be focusing on PvP, if that makes any sense. Alright, gonna show you some raids here. I'm gonna do one level in raid 5. Alright, here we go. I jumped to it. We're in a raid 5 with some randoms in public. I'm not sure how well they're gonna do. Um, I haven't really looked at their stats. I just wanted to jump into showing you an R5. <laughs> Even though my contribution may be a touch low, I still can tank out a head or two if, you know, the person to the left or right of me dies. Um, usually in my tank team, I bring Dona, but both of these have brought Hua, so I didn't really typically need Smokey here. I brought him anyways to show you. But he offers an additional backup to the both Hua's there that offer the slow and the Chasoons that offer glancing hit. And glancing, break break attack and slow here is extremely vital to walking this H this beast of a mammoth down <clears throat> here's the team I'm using Bastille, Chasun, Kaleen, Smokey, Wang, and Kona. Uh, my opponent, or my, my uh, partners here brought Brian, Panda, Kaleen, Lisa, Hua, and Chasun. Um, runes aren't really up to par. I don't know how this person's going to do. I'm not really impressed. Um, <clears throat> this guy here has got destroyed on his Panda. He's got his brand offsets Colleen's not bad no HP Hua decent on the HP attack and wow very nice no CD or CR lots of HP okay these guys got some weird runes here I don't know if this works for them and this one's gonna take forever <clears throat> Colleen Spammer heals there. <clears throat> Boom, that's slow. Re up on that slow. Two turns. Allows you to get a few extra turns, maybe a proc or two, to get out of those debuffs and stop the relentless attack by the, the balls. Subs you're looking on for them, obviously, if you're using full slots, 2, 4, and 6 on HP, HP defense, you want a little bit of speed if you're going to use them in both, um, and you want some ACC. I'm, I'm like, completely against ACC and resisting this game, so whatever my monsters fall at after I'm finished building them is what I'll deal with for PV, PVE ACC aspect, so... Um, <clears throat> but typically, you would like any kind of debuffer at 60% or more. Uh, it, it, like I said, whatever my monsters fall at, that's just what I go with, because I really don't, I'm really against that, those stats in this game. RNG's gonna do whatever it wants to do. Very slow process here. I didn't really. The two, two people that are with me aren't very spectacular. Nobody's doing some really outstanding damage, or their stats are not really where they need to be. I feel like one of them's gonna die. I'm gonna have to carry him.
Feels like Kona never cleanses. Staying with debuffs. About to hit the last jump here. Look at look at Smokey go. Look at all those debuffs he just posted up there. <clears throat> This is a very long run. This is a terrible teammate that I've got. Sorry about the long video here. Oh, we're about coming to an end here. Smokey's lived all the way through, even with all these attacks that, that I've faced. All these hits. Still holding it down. Bon the boss can't do much damage with all these debuffs on there. <clears throat> like I said, slow, attack break, glance, extremely vital for here. Yeah, this guy over here is starting to die. That's, that's crazy. His stats suck. And there we have it. We had walked R5 with Smokey. Um, pretty much do it 100% with him. He'll help you get through, you know, R3, R4, and walk you right into 5. So, there you have it. Mana, of course. I don't ever get anything good. Um, this is uh, Lucky, leader of T1G Nation. Wanted to tell you, set the record straight, and showing you that Smokey is good. Don't listen to those lower channels. You build the monsters you want to build. You play the game like you want to play. Check us out on channel 1313. Stay true to yourself.